Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? I know this should be a Sunday night live video, but as of right now, I am out to dinner with my family, so hopefully you guys dig this video as well. All right, guys, let me break down the situation for you. This video was already recorded on the water, got home, had some audio issues, so I had to trash the footage. But you guys may have noticed the audio issues my last couple videos. We did try to edit that audio, but um, it really wasn't up to par compared to my last video. So if you guys did notice that, I do apologize. I am trying to figure it out. Whether it's the, the adapters, the connection, the mics themselves, I have no idea. So for now, we're using the wireless mic. So this video, hopefully, is good for you guys. But um, like I said, I was out making a video for Mystery Tackle Box. That video will be up on their channel here really soon on how to pitch and flip. We were using the Lumberjack flipping jig and the Carl's Amazing Baits Chunk. I'll go ahead and link those down below if you guys want to check them out. And guys, while you're over there, you know, check out Carl's Club. I mean, it's really a killer deal. They're adding more and more baits all the time. This got in their new line of hard baits. Of course, I had to pick up the Square Bills. But I mean, free 30-day trial. You know, if you don't like it, cancel it. It didn't cost you anything. If you made some orders, you saved some money. But if you guys do decide to join, you know, you'll get your money right back in savings within a few orders. So definitely, guys, check it out. Link down below. But like I said, I was making that video and um, when I was done, I wanted to make a video for my channel, so I was going to make one on, you know, how to rig up the chunk. I get that from time to time. Some guys don't know if they should rig it, you know, this way, this way, tip it, thread it on. So that's what we're going to break down today. Now, guys, I don't tip a jig too often. I'll go ahead and rig one up here, and I'll tell you guys really why I don't like it, and I prefer threading them on. But you got your jig here, okay? And some guys, too, don't know if they should put the meaty part towards the shank or towards the hook point. Now, color comes into play as well. This depends on manufacturer, how they made the color and all that. But I like the chartreuse or the lighter color to the belly. And again, I like the meaty part towards the shank of the hook. I just feel when you rig it like that, you get a little more kick out of the claws when you rig it, again, chunk towards the shank there. But um, this is how you tip it. Okay, get your hook there. Just go in. If you guys can see this, go in. Come out. That is tipping a jig. Pretty straightforward, okay? You can see it gives you a much bigger profile. And this is really, this is good too if you're fishing deeper water because it tracks much better when it's tipped like that versus if you thread it on. If you do thread it on crooked, you know, your jig may not fall straight down. So keep that in mind as well. If you do tip it, it does track much better if you are going to thread them on. Just like anything else, whether it be a swim bait or whatever, you want to thread them on straight so it does, you know, track really well. But um, anyways, that is tipping your jig right there. Again, I like the meaty part towards the shank of the hook. Like I said earlier, I feel you get a little more kick out of them that way. Now, that being said, it is a bigger profile. Obviously, sometimes you like that bigger profile, but normally when I'm throwing a jig, usually I like a jig in a little bit colder water, sometimes in summer, which again, you do want the bigger profile, but I still prefer to thread on my trailer just to give me a little bit smaller profile. It doesn't tear off as easy, and I just like a more compact, you know, looking jig. Obviously, again, like I said, this is a much bigger profile when you do tip them like that. But one of the main reasons I don't like to tip a jig is, if you guys can see this here, move some of the skirt out of the way, okay, that chunk is right in the gap. Now, most guys do it like this and don't have any issues, but my thought process is, you know, that is filling the gap to where the, the fish's lip should be. So again, when I put on a chunk, or really any trailer, I thread them on so I have more gap. And again, too, like I said earlier, it just depends on the profile that you're looking for. But you can see here when you thread it on, something else I want to show you guys as well. Now, if you were to thread this in the center for that chunk being kind of thick, again, if you guys can see that, you know, you're still going to put some of that chunk in the gap. So what I do when I thread them on, okay, I want it, again, chunk towards the shank. So what I do is I go towards the back. I don't go dead center. I go towards the back a little bit, like so. That way, when you come out, you have a little more meat towards the back of the shank versus in that gap. Slide her up just like that. Again, you can see it gives you a nice small profile. It's still meaty. A little bit smaller profile though compared to tipping. And of course, you can see I got plenty of gap there and I got more gap just because I went closer to the back side versus center or more on the meaty side. So again, I got plenty of gap now. I got myself a little bit smaller profile, 
my chunks up on there nice and secure nice compact profile there that will get bit for sure so anyways guys that is how i rig up the chunk and that's really why i prefer to thread it versus tipping it but do whatever works for you that's what works for me that's what gets bit and that's what it's all about right guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up thanks for watching guys we will see you guys on the next one